Hey, this is TJ from TJOnTheRoad.com, back with you and the Waldorf Iridium. Today we're going to look at the sound engine of the Iridium, take a deeper dive into the different oscillator types. There are five of them, and because it is so deep and there's so many, I'm going to split this video apart into two. This first video is going to focus on the first three oscillator types, that being the wavetable, waveform, and the particle engines. And then I'll post another video later that focuses on the resonator as well as the kernel engines. I'm going to play some sounds along the way. So if you do like the videos here, please do share and subscribe them. Thank you so much for your support, and let's get started. Alright, the first oscillator type we're going to look at is the wavetable. Just for reference, you can select the different oscillator types here. Wavetable, waveform, particle, resonator, kernels, or you can shut off as given an oscillator of one of the three. But we're going to go with the wavetables. And you can use the panel controls. You can use the screen to select different uh, and change different parameters. Some are only available on the panel. Some things on the panel are duplicated on the screen. For example, the wavetable position, you'll see it move on the screen here. Let's get a sample of that. That you can change right here on the position here on the screen, or you can change it right on the wavetable. Some things you can only do on the panel. You can select a travel, for example, only on the panel. And that's traveling through the wavetable. Unfortunately, it doesn't animate that. Some things like the noise can only be accessed on the access, excuse me, on the panel. Uh, other things are duplicated, such as the spectrum. Uh, you can select the wavetables here. And you can select your viewing of the waves from 3D to a 2D spectrum to a spectrum. Go back to the 3D. And if you want, you can actually load in samples. Those samples can be turned into wavetables that we're doing the tool here, the tools here. Go to the input from waves and uh, I, don't know, I gotta find something relatively short here. What's that one? That was kind of long. Let's try a different one here. Uh -huh. 
All right, that's a short one. Let's load that in and see what kind of wavetable it creates. And it'll actually give you several. Several that you can choose from. Looks like it gave us three. So you can select from different samples that are in the system to create new wavetables. Very, very cool. Now you can let's go back to a wavetable that's a little bit better here. Say this glass one or wood. And if we move the uh, travel a little bit more, you can change the travel mode from ping pong back and forth to cycling through. You change the mode from normal to legacy, to harsh, to dirty, limit or wrap. Wrap gives it a smoother uh, blend, smoother transition. And then you can choose either smooth step or you can actually step through the different waveforms. 88 steps. And you have drive or gain you can select. And you can go to the control tab here. The control tab, you can select the actual range of it so it's up 12 if you want it to lower, lower that you can go say down to 24 for an octave lower and the pitch variation that's the pitch bend range excuse me you can select the uh, semitones and the fine pitch and here you can select the destination of the oscillator to the main flow through of the routing to directly to the ECA or to the digital former in different percentages. Next, we're going to look at the waveform type of oscillator. Again, we select that from here. And the panel controls, they allow you to select the shape or the noise type. This being the virtual analog portion of it. You can also do that here. Uh, the panel allows you to select the detune. Amount and then it also lets you select the count. This is the uh, amount of unison per voice count. Say, for example, best to hear that one. So, you can have as many as eight, what they call kernels. And this allows you to do the warp. You can also do that from the panel. You can warp the shape. Say from a sawtooth to a square. Uh, 
Um, and also you can select the sync. And on here, it does allow you to select the uh, stereo positioning, uh, the amount of width of the stereo. There are some presets up here. For example, if you want a big saw, hit that, close. Um, and then these controls down here, they allow you to change the individual semitones of each one of the kernels. So let's say, for example, you went on two kernels. All right, and you want the second one to be up a fifth. So up seven. And you can do that for as many as four different positions for the kernels. Uh, again, you can go over to the control. You can select tools, and this allow you to copy from one oscillator to the other if you wanted to copy that. Say, for example, if you wanted to detune two of the oscillators. It also allows you to set the fine pitch, uh, the oscillator pan, and again, the destination of the oscillator. Now, lastly, in this video, we're going to look at the particle engine. Again, select here. There's still the resonator and kernel engine. We're going to talk about that in the next video. Uh, the particle engine is where you can play samples as well as granular. First, you have to load in a sample. So we go to Actions. We hit Add. And we'll look for a different sample here. Uh, let's say, say this pad. What does that sound like? I like that one. So we'll add that. Okay, and we play it. Now here it's just playing the samples. You can add more samples and create a list, create a multi-sample type of list. But today we're just going to look at the granular. So we want to hit the particle here and switch it to granular. And this puts it in the granular mode. And here you can change all kinds of things. You can change the uh, original starting position. You can change the amount of travel. change the length of the grains, individual grains. You can change the number of grains that are being played. Now you see there's four of them here. You can change that here, or you can change it down on the panel. Up to eight grains. Two as two as one. Let's go with eight. Sounds great that way, I think. And you can manipulate the grains by changing their length. Shorten them up so now there's more spaces between them. If you go really short, they start to sound very staccato. You can change the jitter of the grains. You can change the original position jitter. You 
can change the width in stereo of the grains. Max it out. You might not be able to hear that very well in this video, but that's the idea there. Now, very important parameters are the attack and the delay. So, it might be easier if I increase the length. You can hear that a little more, the gate length. And you'll see it gives it a little pointy uh, look to the individual grains on the screen. When you increase attack, and if I increase the decay, and increase the gate length, and the overall length, has a great effect on the sound. You have the other controls here. Again, you can copy from one and two. You can change the pitch track. Again, the destination, the pan of where it is, the uh, semitones of the pitch. Go back here. It does have presets that are available. Let's try one of these string. Close that. So that loads another wave in. So that's the particle engine using granular synthesis. If you want to go back here to samples. Okay, I don't have a multi sample patch right now to uh, show you, but again, you can take this list of samples. There's only one here, but they'll show up here. A whole list of samples, you can map them across the keyboard and create a multi sampled. Uh, round robin type of sample playback. Well, hey, that's it. The first deep dive here on the Waldorf Iridium. We looked at the first three of the five oscillator types. Next video, we're going to look at the resonator as well as the kernel engine. So if you like these videos, please do subscribe to this channel and share them uh, with all your online friends and buddies. And please do take a look at tjontheroad.com for more. Thanks so much for your support. Until next time.